this is your first computer applications tutorial and you're probably wondering why we have green software opened don't worry we're not going to be painting code we do have bluej open here which you all will hopefully be familiar with by now so uh, before i go into coding i'm going to tell you some things which i think you might find useful right before your exams firstly the format same as class 9 section a and section b Section A is all theory, compulsory, 40 marks, the whole paper is 100, so Section B is 60. And Section B, you'll be given 6 programs to do. You have to select any 4, and they are all worth 15 marks each. Section A, all compulsory, so you don't have a choice there, it's all theory. Um, now Section A, in this part of the tutorial will be focusing on section A only. Section B we'll do maybe in the next tutorial. But for now, section A. Now, before making this tutorial, I, I just went through the four examinations that we had. That's first term, second term, pre boards, boards. The the common thing in section A, all of them, the the three things. This firstly differences. second major thing which you'll find a lot is definitions and the third which if you look at our board paper you'll be uh, shocked to see how heavy the weightage was of it is predict the output okay so you usually have there's no set pattern, but uh, it's usually something like uh, four, three questions, three questions, and the first one, first and second, will both be ten marks, ten marks, and the third will be twenty. Now the distribution of these three is as I said nothing fixed you it might change it, anything they can give you anything but I'm gonna tell you what usually happens out of these 20 marks over here question 1 and question 2 there will be at least 6 or 8 marks on differences there'll be another 4 at least on definitions the rest will be stuff like give examples or explain a few terms or something like write a java expression for some formula or uh, just something like name the following um, now question 3 is what I think you should focus on is mostly always predict the output our board paper had 20 marks of just purely predict the output though usually they they'll give you some pieces of code they'll tell you to correct it or something but for us it was all predict the output um, so this part predict the output is not just theory it's also a bit of practical you, you get it once you do programs that's how it works because not only do you need to know the functions and their uses you also need to know how to apply them only then can you predict the output for now if you are watching this video before your first term second term or even pre-board then what I suggest you do is while you're doing all your chapters just mark out every single difference you find every every definition you find it makes it a lot easier right at the end on the last day when you need to do uh, all of section A uh, a major chunk of it in just a few minutes you can just open it and look at all of them it saves a lot of time so just do that if you're watching it not before the boards but before before February I'd say so that'll help a lot and for that the book that you should use is Sumitha Arora it it has many of the definitions and uh, differences marked out already so it'll make your job easier I don't know what books you guys have but we had APC and uh, Sumitha Arora and we were always told to uh, use Sumitha Arora especially for theory 
uh, some of the practical stuff like you know functions and strings and all that maybe the other book is better but for theory definitely Sumitha Arora uh, and if I'm not sure which which books you guys have so if you don't have it I suggest you get it now predict the output is better in APC you'll understand it better from there I think there's a chapter which has a lot of them and uh, some a common topic where um, there is slight confusion most of the times is the increment and decrement operators the plus plus and the minus minus when do they come before when do they come after I remember in APC there's a whole exercise dedicated to that so for that definitely do APC uh, and in comp you should note that differences they'll never ask you more than two two is the maximum you can for differences you can give definitions and even an example would count as a difference so all you need to know is basically definitions and an example and there'll be other questions like I told you they'll tell you to convert some formula into uh, a Java statement so for that you just need to know your mathematical operators and all that which again would be in APC when, when you're doing predict the output you'll find them there so that's all I can tell you about section A. There are a few common difference and definition questions. I don't know, we might upload a document uh, telling you which ones are there, which, are, which come very often. But we'll see, I can't promise you that. Now. We'll see if we can. Uh, so section A, that's all it is. In the next tutorial, we'll be doing section B. I'm going to do only a few topics. Uh, that's I think strings I'll do and matrices as well as scanner so that's for the next tutorial